Go on, dear. Thank you all for gathering here today. Uh, but before going any further, could I, could I ask the free citizens of Yulmore to look around? It is a sight none of us would ever have seen under Lord Forthree's rule. Not only do we stand in the familiar presence of those we once called the bonded, but today we welcome the peoples of the derelicts and Gate Town too. Today we welcome the warriors of darkness, come to bear witness to Yulmore's new beginning. As you know, an election was recently held, at the end of which I had the honor of being chosen to succeed Lord Vothry. You place great faith in me, and I promise to do my utmost to live up to your expectations, and I will seek always to carry out the duties of this office with integrity and fairness. Always, I say, but not forever. Let it be known that I do not intend to hold this post indefinitely. I consider myself but an acting mayor who will serve only for the interim, while Yulmor is reshaped according to a new set of values. No longer can we think of ourselves as divided, as the free and the bonded, citizens and non-citizens. The systems put in place by Lord Vorthry must be undone. But even as we tear down the old, we must give thought to the new, to what manner of nation Yulmore should become. Whatever the answer may be, it cannot be decided by one man alone. And so I propose that an open forum be held, that we might all discuss how best to strive towards a better future. However, there can be no talk of the morrow unless we first address the issues of today. Securing new sources of food, rebuilding relations with our neighbors, re-establishing industry. There is much and more that needs to be done. Too much for a mere man of business. And so I pledge instead to do everything in my power to ensure our city's security and stability while we all work together to see these problems solved. The road before us will not be easy, and I know full well how daunting the prospect of honest labor may seem to some of you. But we must accept the reality of our circumstances. We must move forward. 
this much we owe to ourselves and to the brave heroes who risked their lives to bring back the night. Once we have shored up our city's foundations and regained some semblance of normality, let us reconvene to speak of the future. Until then, I humbly ask that you lend me and each other your strength. For Yulmo! Thank you. 